today I'm going to tell you some facts about different planets' moons. Please show to your kids so they learn about these moons. So let's start it with Puck. So this is Puck. Puck is one of Uranus's moons. Puck is a oval shape and we know that it orbits Uranus, isn't it? This is Amalfinia. Amalfinia is one of Jupiter's 67 moons and it's a funny shape because it's very close to Jupiter. In fact, it's the third furthest satellite away from Jupiter and we all know what a satellite is. A satellite is a moon. It also has craters. And this is where the Tudor. While the Tudor is one of Jupiter's 67 moons. So while the is another of Jupiter's moons, yeah? This is Hydra. Hydra is 51 kilometers wide. And Hydra is one of Pluto's moons. And we all know that it orbits Pluto because it's Pluto's moon, alright? And this is Hyaka. Hyaka is a moon of the dwarf planet Haumea. Haumea is an oval planet. So Hyaka orbits the oval planet Haumea, alright? This is Niso. Niso is one of Neptune's moons. The ringed planet, Neptune, yeah? With the navy colour. So Niso is the moon that orbits the planet Neptune, yeah? And Neptune is Niso's parent because the planet is the moon's parent. This is Miranda. Miranda is one of Uranus's moons. Miranda is a greeny colour and it has cracks that it looks like that it's been torn apart and put together again like a jigsaw puzzle. This is Phobos, one of Mars's moons. So Phobos was in the asteroid belt, but Mars pulled Phobos right into the orbiting part of it. So Phobos started to orbit Mars and now Phobos is getting closer to Mars so it might get torn apart into a beautiful ring or get smashed into Mars and its shape is like a huge potato. My sister says it looks like an almond. <laughs> Yes, Sophia, it looks like an almond. <laughs> this is Mimus, one of Saturn's 62 moons. And it has a large crater which has a tiny, teeny little spot in it. It's Europa. Europa is slightly smaller than our moon. First Europa, then our moon comes, yeah? So it's slightly smaller than our moon. And it might have salty water under its surface. So that means there might be life. Oh, and I nearly forgot to tell you that Europa is one of Jupiter's moons. This is Pan. Pan has a ring system like Saturn and Jupiter, and Uranus and Neptune, and some planets like J1407b and HD. And its diameter is 709,108,000 kilometers wide. And Pan is a moon of Saturn. This is Hyperion, one of Uranus's moons. It is a large moon but some people think it's a small moon but it's quite large because it's even bigger than us we all know moons are bigger than us isn't it this is namaka it is 601 kilometers wide and it's another moon of the planet Haumea. this 
Styx. Styx is one of Pluto's moons. So Pluto has five moons and Styx is one of them. And Styx is a very odd shape because it's very rectangular or oval, isn't it? This is dysnomia. Dysnomia is a moon of Eris. Eris only has one moon, which is dysnomia, right? So remember that one, yeah? Is wayward, one of Qua's moons. Qua only has this moon, wayward. And we can call Qua 500-100 Qua. Is a dwarfed planet and red in colour. B. The B is another of Jupiter's moons. It's the closest satellite to Jupiter, also known as Jupiter double L. And this is Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system, even bigger than Mercury, and it is 108 million point seventy nine million eighteen hundred eighty eight hundred eight kilometers wide which is a lot even bigger than mercury as i said and it's jupiter's moons and it's a galian moon of jupiter like europa yeah obron uranus's moon so it's 100 kilometers wide and it's also the darkest moon in the entire solar system, all right? It's Deimos, the other moon of Mars. So some people call Deimos Deimos, but that is not Deimos' his name. And Deimos was an asteroid from the belt. And Mars just took Deimos from the belt and made Deimos orbiting it but now Deimos is getting further away from it so now Deimos is 100 kilometers away from Mars and it's going back to the asteroid belt and in fact it's 60 kilometers wide all right our natural satellite we can also call Luna the moon all right and it's Earth's moon and it takes was for the moon to complete one orbit around the whole Earth. To the only satellite of the dwarfed planet Make Make, also known as Maki Maki, yeah. And MK two has a strange name because it has a number two in its name, isn't it? And it's KM two, a distant away from the M in MK2's name, isn't it? Jupiter's moons, it is a Galian moon because Galio discovered it and it orbits Jupiter and Jupiter's its parent and it's the second satellite away from Jupiter and it's strange because it's still round and it has more than 400 volcanoes which is a lot and Io is yellow in colour. Some people call Io low, but that is not Io's name. Titan. Titan is one of Saturn's moons, and Titan is in Saturn's ring system. And Titan is also the second largest moon. It comes before Ganymede. It's like this Titan and then Ganymede. Metis is one of Jupiter's moon, also known as Jupiter X double L, alright? And Metis is a strange shape, more like an oval than a sphere, isn't it? Charon is one of Pluto's moon, and instead of orbiting Pluto, it does orbit Pluto, but Pluto orbits Charon as it orbits the sun! One of Pluto's moons. It is 19 kilometers wide, yeah? And it's also a strange shape, more like a foot shape than 
a sphere, isn't it? Lyra is one of Jupiter's moons, and the Lyra is also purple in colour, and the Lyra is nearly a sphere, but it's not really a sphere, yeah? But nearly a sphere, yeah? Nix is one of Pluto's moons. In fact, Nix is a very small moon that it's the smallest natural satellite of Pluto. Callisto is another one of Jupiter's moons. It is also very colourful. It is blue, purpley type and a little bit of green in it. But I made it like this so you will think it's more better than the real one. Looks a bit sparkly. Hours to orbit Jupiter when Io takes six hours to orbit Jupiter. Hmm. Day Triton. Triton is a moon of Neptune. It orbits Neptune, but instead of moving the way the planet rotates, Triton rotates the other way, like Venus rotates that way. So Triton rotates the way Venus rotates. Today's video. Tomorrow, I'll come up with a new video. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.